Good day, viewers. I've got a um, garbage pick to Oz Trail 45 litre single zone fridge. Looks like it's been thrown down a Kokoda track, tumbling down off a speeding truck. Look at it. Oh, it's been vandalised, or oh, someone's got the shits with it and tried to smash it up and put a hole in the lid, but not all the way through. Smash this up. Someone's had their shits with it better. Oh, a spider. Um, LG compressor made by Tai Joe LG China. So it's not the actual Korean LG, it's just a, um, a Chinese knockoff of an LG authorised by LG compressor. Plays music. Nice condenser layer, not that aluminium paper thin shit. So that's a good, um, a good, actually a quite a good way to do it. But it's taken that off the shelf condenser and rolled it up and made it small and stuffed it in there. That's actually a better uh, way to have it actually. But um, you can see the electronic screen's been punched out. The lights have been punched out, so to speak. This is a variable speed compressor, so these wires control the different functions on this circuit board to speed the compressor up or make it slower. So we've got a um, plus minus fan. I'm pretty sure you can uh, DC PLT, one of those ones, I'll short together. I'll have to jump a lot of the yellow, it's a yellow one, I'll have to jump with it to put the positive or something, and this, this should run. What a device in here, so the power goes in here, fuse in here, some sort of filter, fil put it, uh, filter, uh, filter like RF, because of DC noise from this compressor, inverter board or something, this probably stops the noise going back into throughout the uh, car radio or something like that. I guess that's what there's for. 12 or 24 volt, 42 lock rotor amps. This is pretty much looks like it's um, the same as a Danfoss compressor. The moulding is almost the same, but they've knocked it off and um, the Chinese have stolen it and made it for LG. But it's a variable speed compressor saver, so fucking. Find a way to dumb it down. Let's have like a little rheostat on it or something. I know we're going to try and trace out the thermistor. You need some there. Yeah, I'd say so. LED light, thermistor wires. And just put an, um, an ordinary uh, freezer thermistor in here. A dial, an old school analog thermistor to control this thing. I'm going to turn this thing into a, um, a dedicated chest freezer for this guy who um, I uh, converted the Fisher and Parkle bar fridge to 12 volt for. Because he wants, I said, well look, we can convert this to a, um, a standalone off the grid mini chest freezer. He said, oh that's a good idea, so. I'll uh, put a little board there with a little um, thermostat, so it's a chest freezer. I'm going to find a way of getting the little well in here to get the thermostat in the good spot so it works properly. Let's uh, get some power to it, and I'll start playing around here, see if we can get this thing to um, so we've got positive, is yellow, which bridges to somewhere here, so I'll take this wire off. This doesn't work anymore, it's buggered. I've already tested it. Huh? I'll just play it around, turn it on, and just started right up. Oh well, I think they got one of these screens. How much one of these is? Hmm. I'll see actually, but I don't know if this guy will, will spend any money on it, but I'll see what he wants to say. See if I can put an aftermarket thing on here. And I'll show a control board. No light. Don't know how to set the speed. Yeah. A little bit warm, so it gets cold first. Yeah, there's a lot there. It's starting to get cold. Huh. It works. Someone must have blown the fuse or something in here. That fuse has been blown. They must have got the shits with it. That's my guess. But if it's siliconed up so water doesn't get where it shouldn't be. I think it's working. I wonder if someone got the shit to this thing. That's what my guess is. This fuse in here must have blown. And it must have just got the shit with it and just smashed it. Someone obviously has more money than brains and no patience. Is that 
Hopefully not brand new, like it's had some use I could see. So it wasn't taken back under warranty to the shop because they would have um, cut all the lines and drilled all in here out. <laughs> it's starting to get cold. It's starting to work. It's working. Hmm, I'll go see um, a local guy I get parts from. I'll see if I can get a generic uh, interface for this thing and just. Hmm. So the, the, the inside's alright. Some of the screws can be replaced. The covers are missing. That's been hit. Someone's had the shit for this. I think so. Yeah, someone's had the shit for it. That's what I reckon's happened to it. Because <laughs> the, um, the story with this is it was uh, picked up out of a skip somewhere. So I went garbage picking and they uh, picked it up out of a skip. It's a good thing they did because uh, even the compressor and this control board alone, it's 400 bucks alone. So good score. I took a big gamble with that fuse. Something like that's gonna do some damage. A lot of power in that battery. It closes without those little things on here anyway. We're getting cold. <laughs> Works quite well. Oh, the, the light turns off. There's something in the lid. There's a magnet and a lead switch for that light, so that actually works too. I think the angles are the same thing as a little magnet and lead switch turns the light off when you open and close it. Let it run for a while. I don't even know what you want the temperature set to because that vip door they um, connect is off the LCD display itself, so we don't even know what's doing. Well, the circuit board's fine, it's just the screen's been smashed. I'll see what, um, if I can get a, a, new, a new board and a bit that goes in here, which would look like that. Battery percent uh, protection, which is manually overridable, and you can press the speed. Let's say it's here somewhere. You can select the speed of the compressor. It doesn't sound any faster. It's a little bit quieter than um, a Danfu compressor. Just heat being rejected. Yeah, this thing's working. It's working quite well. There you go. Let it run for a while. I'm oh, pretty sure it's going to freeze. You can see we've got some rivets that have been ripped out here. What I find. What I find. Anyway, be a good project. I'll find a way to get this interface to work. We'll see what, 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 what our, our options are. If I can communicate with this uh, board in a generic way, you just put a um, manual thermostat in it. This speed selector doesn't seem to make this go any really faster or slower. All that would really do, the speed, you can run, make it with its tits off and then get cold fast if you need it ASAP and it will use more power. But if you have it on a normal speed, it won't get cold as quick and it will save your battery, which that's all right because my um, the guy uh, did the range just now is off the grid, so we'll see how the options are. Either way, it'll be a good dedicated chest freezer. Yeah, getting cold. So the um, refrigeration system has not been compromised. <laughs> it's getting cold. Anyway, this part one, so more on this when I get around to it. We'll see what our options are first. I'll try and um, see if I can get one of these, what our options are, and go from there. Anyway, thanks for watching.